Welcome everybody. I don't know about you, but I can't believe it's already the fourth week in January. It's crazy. The month has just flown by for me and I hope <laughs> I hope it has for you too. Um, the fourth week of every month, we here at Ready, Set, Retire like to spend a moment and focus on selfishly as it might sound on on ourselves on on you and uh in this week we're gonna talk a little bit about and i know this is going to get me in some hot water from my mom uh if you look around you'll notice i'm in a i'm in a car <laughs> which is where we spend a lot of our time uh, if you're like me, especially if you have um, school-aged children, you're, you're constantly running um, between work, between school, activities, the store, groceries. If you're lucky, the liquor store. Um, <laughs> but enough about that. That's another video. Um, and sometimes it, we tend to put other people's needs before our own sometimes. If, if you're like me, which is not a good thing. I'm not suggesting that this is what we should do, but sometimes we find ourselves in the different seasons of life. Sometimes they are very busy. And for us in particular, the last five years have just, we've been overloaded for many different reasons in many different um, areas helping to look after family, um, health concerns, and all that. And sometimes we put ourselves at the bottom of the list. This week, my challenge to you, and this stemmed from a letter I got in the mail. And if you live in Canada and you're um, female, <laughs> you get a letter in the mail um, to tell you if... Uh, if and when it's time to have your um, your pap test. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that, gentlemen. This does not apply to you. Um, and you're supposed to go as a, as a woman every three years to, uh, to make sure that you don't have cervical cancer. And I got mine in the mail. And I know <laughs> you're my mom right now. What do you mean you didn't go right away? <laughs> So you get the letter in the mail and you are supposed to call your family doctor and book that appointment. And so I actually just got the follow-up letter that says several months ago, we sent you a reminder letter inviting you to have a pap test, which is such a great time. Um, but all getting aside, it is so, it is important and I am going to make that call um, this week mom I'm going to make that appointment and um, I encourage you so this is challenge number four number four for 2020 if there are any um, dentist appointments eye doctor appointments um, <laughs> doctor appointments uh, maybe you've been putting off getting physio and again this was me in the fall. I really wrenched my shoulder at work uh, and I put it off for months and months and it just, the pain increased. It just kept getting worse and worse and every morning you think, oh, well, you know, maybe it'll go away. Guess what? It doesn't go away. And at the end of the summer, I did book myself in for physio and I started that and before Christmas, uh, it, it my pain is completely gone. I should have booked physio right away. And the truth is, if something had happened to to our daughter, we would have booked her in immediately. So why why the delay um, for putting myself first? I don't know. Um, it, it could be a combination of just stress, not wanting to add one more thing to our crazy schedules. But my challenge um, to everybody out there is to find the time. Pretend your needs are that of your child or even your spouses or uh, someone else you always seem to make time for. Uh, and make time for yourself. 
I, I challenge you from the bottom of my heart, I'm going to try and turn over a new leaf for myself and uh, start taking my health um, seriously. It should be taken seriously and it, it's not hard and we can, we can make these phone calls and make these appointments as unpleasant uh, as they are. They are important for us to look after ourselves so that we can uh, uh, be healthy. <laughs> That's, that's what we need to do. So that is challenge number four uh, for the year. And I hope the other challenges are going well. Hope you're uh, working on your budgets. I hope you're decluttering those kitchen cupboards. And um, look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you have a great week. And uh, thanks, thanks so much for tuning in. And if you did enjoy it, a thumbs up is sure appreciated. And uh, have a great week, everyone.